everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Feed the Beasts Infernal with another tutorial Let's Play video. So full disclosure here, technically last episode I was summoning the Piglin. I then started the Hoglin quest with the intent of sort of running that in the background. You can see I've kind of started a little bit of a Hoglin farm, but that's taken me a little bit longer than I thought. Plus to complete all of the quests I want to do together, we're going to need a couple of resources that are actually a couple of episodes away from today. That said though, this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the propeller plant quests. That is to observe a propeller plant, collect propeller pearls, and then gather some magma cream. To accomplish all of this though, what we're going to need to do is make ourselves a set of shears. But before we get started, now would be a great time to click on that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I post a new video to my channel. Also, if you're enjoying this content, you want to support, click on the join button down below, check out all the perks I got available for my community members. Alternately, you can check out my Patreon page, there's a link down below in the description. But enough about that, let's get back to the video. Before we can go anywhere, we are going to need that set of shears. Now to make shears in Inferno, we're going to need two iron round plates. Now we got these iron round plates by trading gold ingots with our little piglin friend over here. And any two iron plates in any order in the crafting table is going to get us that set of shears. Now that that's done, we can start heading down into the nether. As you can see, I've kind of emptied out my inventory as much as I can. It, the nether is still very, very dangerous. We are not kitted out very well yet. So I'm trying to reduce the chances of me losing anything significant down there. All right, so let's take a look over our platform here. Can we spot any of those propeller plants? Not seeing anything on this side. What about over here? Yeah, nothing within view. So that means we're actually going to have to go down onto our world there and basically do some uh, searching by foot. So I'm going to take these finds down. Hopefully I can do it. There we go. Oh, no. Little, oh, boy. That was a little, that was way, way too hard. Now, I'm currently in an undergrowth biome. One of the things we want to watch out for are these burning blossoms. They will hurt us. They will set us on fire if we step on them. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. And to be fair, we actually going to need a couple of these going forward. So it's probably not a bad idea to pick up a couple while I'm at it. Oh, there's a ghast over there that I'm going to avoid. Wait, he's out of range again. That is good. Oh, 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 there we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Those are some propeller plants. You can see the, the three sets of little, almost in a triangle there. Uh, lots of zombie piglins. Oh, there's some hoglins over there as well. I'm going to have to be careful. Oh, there's some more down there. That looks way more dangerous though. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus, focus on these guys over here. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go pillar across. Now, do I see anything dangerous over here? I think I am pretty safe. So to harvest these propeller plants, oh, there we go. There's that first quest, explosive personality. All we had to do was kind of look at them close range. What we want to do to harvest them is we want to kind of keep our distance and then just right click with the shears. There we go. It's absolutely perfect. So that's the two quests we came over here for. I could do a little bit more exploring. Oh, ooh, ooh, I think he's coming this way. I'm going to go just get these red mushrooms here. Oh, there we go. What is it? A voline? There you go. All right, perfect. All right, so he's got taken care of. Let's grab up these mushrooms because I'm going to need some more for hoglin spawning or hoglin farming. Oh, boy. Oh, that scared me. I don't know what that was. But you know what? <laughs> it's telling me I got to get moving. Uh, I am going to get this gold while I'm right here, though. Okay, so yeah, let's head back because this nether is super, super crazy dangerous. I've got to watch out for these vines. I've got to watch out. Oh, you make me nervous. i got to watch out for any more wild hoglins. Oh, there's my platform back there. I totally went by it. So let's go open up that quest book and we've got the shearing the bulb, which gets us actually as a reward, a propeller pearl. That's actually seems kind of ridiculous because that was actually 
the one of the quests. Regardless, we got it done. That's the important thing. We also did the explosive personality, which got us a potion of fire resistance, a sign fire hazard, four crimson roots, and then 16 propeller plant canes. Now this is going to be important for us to actually create our own propeller plants that we can sort of set up our own little farm for. To do that, what we're going to have to do is place down some nether rack, and I'm just going to place it in a little bit of a row here. How many was that? That was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now to make our own propeller plants, we're going to need one propeller plant cane and one crimson root. That gets us one propeller plant stem. Now I made 10 spots back there. I've only got enough crimson roots for four. The cool thing is though, we've got actually a ton of crimson root around our base here. All we're going to do is punch it up. There's no need for shears or anything like that. Four, five, six. And that should be more than enough for us to get our 10 propeller plant plants. There we go. We got 10 propeller plant plants. I love saying that. We'll take the cane out and then we're going to come over here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to have to be careful. You might want to put these little fence around them or something like that to keep you from getting too close. They will explode. Oh, that one actually grew up already. We can go a little twerk them up here. At the same time, I believe you could also use bone meal for it, but twerking is just super, super simple. Why won't you screw up? You might actually be too tall now. There we go. And then all we're going to do is come down the row and click, click, click. And then go snag all these guys. But anyways, there is our propeller plant pearls. To make the magma cream, which is our very, very last quest, all we're going to do is take one of these propeller pearls, throw them into the spirit fire, and there we go. There's our magma cream. So that finishes off that fourth quest there. No rewards for it, but that's absolutely perfect. Now, the reason that we're going to want easy access to these propeller pearls is that magma creams are going to be essential when we start smelting. But you know what? That's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Good.